Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Uh, let's go talk to Anora now. Hello again, Warden. Hello. It is good that you came to speak with me. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days Damn to come. Straight. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. Because I'm awesome. My father must be stopped. But once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. Um... Why should I support you? For years, you? I have ruled this kingdom as Caelan's queen. As much as they loved Caelan, all of the Banon knew this to be so. Caelan was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely oh, because I thought both, I needed actually. help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. I need your support, Warden, and you will need mine. Are you that is exactly lines? what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. Um. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Oh, uh, wouldn't that be simple to marry, marry Aster? He is my father. That's why I'm going to well try to marry general, him both. Who has served his nation well until Good now. Good compromise. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. I will always be my father. Justice father's does need to be done. Logan does need to die. Pay for his crimes. It will not make me glad. If he's still so. alive, they can still does be unrest. Does that affect your decision? Can we yet come to an arrangement? What if Mary asked there? Ignoring that the man looks so much like Kalen, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Kalen as well. But it well, is he true can be groomed to be that better. Alistair has Theron blood. To some. This is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? I can probably convince him. Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal awesome. to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. Uh, I will speak to him Do then. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. All right, let's go. Let's go see the deal with Alistair. He's not gonna like this, but. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. I didn't quite say she that. Has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Really? <laughs> Whatever would give you that idea? Well, um, you have a well, kind heart. Well, it's nice that you think so. And, you what know, do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? Yeah, sure. Marry her. As in marriage. Yeah. As in be her husband. <laughs> You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Yeah. Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? Well, That's several, crazy. but... But this is the best compromise for peace. <sighs> yes, yes, I suppose you're right. The Landsmeet will probably see that too. Go ahead, then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. I'm sorry uh, about this, Excuse Aster. me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? <laughs> He somehow approves from this. Okay. Well, good news, Anora. You're about to be remarried. Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? <laughs> he has? Yep. I wasn't expecting that. I am extremely to persuasive. To marry Kalen's brother. Well, I can't suppose say no stranger Talon. things have happened. If it will truly help matters... Is this it, then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne. 
And in exchange, I give you my support. If not, that works. Then tell me now. Nope, that works. Done. Alistair can be cool so and learn how to be warden. king, and you can. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Use your experience. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Um, no, I should go. Then I wish you luck. All right. Now let's go expose Loghain. There's still much to do. And little time to do it. Alright, so let's go um, Liliana, Ogren, and Shale. Yeah, let's use Shale. I haven't used Shale. You haven't used her in a while. Yes. Can't remember it's a her. <laughs> Flurry. When? <laughs> Another one percent. Lynn is another member of the one percent of Talon's team, which is like half the freaking people. Shall we crush something? We shall. Um, what was I gonna do? Well, I was looking for better equipment for Shale. She's not that greatly equipped, but she'll have to do for now. Donate? Well, actually, first. What was I gonna do? Right, let's finally, uh, let's turn in the quest to Sergeant Kailoon. Got to do that. Edwina sends her thanks for getting rid of the Crimson Oars. Good to know. Mind you, she's disappointed there was no fighting. Here's payment. You've helped out a great deal. No problem, man. Alright, to Wade's Emporium. Let's finally get this, uh, Drake scale and Dragon scale armor out of the way. First up, Drake scale. Welcome back. You looking for fine armor? Uh, can you make something out of Drake scales? Of course. He's back, he's back! Have you reconsidered? I can make such fine armor with your scales. Uh, I'll pay you ten sovereigns Excellent. to make it great. You won't regret it. Think of the possibilities, Heron. Think of it! I'm trying to stop. <laughs> You're here. I... Go oh, get back to work. Sit. So he's not ready yet. Uh, let's try to sell some stuff. We got too much crap in our inventory. Uh, nothing else. Let's just go. Wow. Oh, you like shoes, do you? <laughs> My mass is considerable. Some cushioning on my feet would be ideal, but I doubt such footwear could be made. Mm, I could see some nice thick sandals being made, with very thick leather straps. Oh yes, that could be done. Perhaps we could find some cobbler who could give it a try. Oh, what good. color would you want? Surely the color is unimportant. In fact, the color is very important. That, and picking Girl a talk. shape that makes your ankles look slender. And you could use some help there, I fear. I have thick ankles. It's alright. I don't like my thighs. What's important is working hey. with what you have. Your thighs are beautiful. Very yeah. well. I wish my shoes to be red. Oh, bold choice. We'll have to remember that. Okay. So that was just some girl talk. Oh. No, you idiot. It's not done yet. Ugh. Sometimes I'm stupid. You'll hear about you. I've barely even begun, and you're. Oh, get Are back you thinking to work. that, like, it only takes a Come few to minutes to, like, take it? Come again. 
Yeah, let's just get out of here. Let's go to the alienage, finally. Indeed they have. Let's go check out this disruption, shall we? Or not. God, this has been taking forever to get here. Looks like we're in for some Blood magic and possess these assholes. Ha. And you're all dead. Great work, guys. All right. Now, finally, the alienage. <laughs> And so here we are. First of all, let's talk to this uh, elf who needs to join the army. I suppose a noble death fighting the blighted wretches is better than basking in this squalor. They'd better be paying well. That's the spirit. Out of our alienage. Yeah. I've never been in How exciting! Someone's coming. You've seen and touched and dropped these that, ashes. But... They are the holiest thing on this earth. The remains of the Maker's chosen. It was quite remarkable. Yes. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. Uh, just say. Fought for everybody, yes, of course, us all. but it still is something to be in awe of. Now let's talk to this scared guy, which is what I meant to do. Get away from me, you crazy knife here! Are you alright? Just stay away from me. I'm leaving, alright? Hey, you racist. I'm... I'm not your average elf. I'm like... Can you tell I'm also a freaking mage? Oh, whatever. Didn't the wedding teach you people anything? Uh, Shiani. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. What's going on here? So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We you guys help as many as we can today, so voice. long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. Uh -huh. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantined <laughs> perfectly healthy? Shale. Uh... What's the problem here? You must not be from around here. Nope. Wait. Soros told me about you. You're the one who freed him from the dungeons. Oh, yeah. These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though. All the people they help disappear. Oh, really? That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my uncle Sirian, and Valendrian? 
Uh, if there's a plague, These then why are people on the street? These men from say their magic will prevent people from catching it. But it doesn't work if you're already ill. So they set up a quarantine. But many of the ones they quarantine aren't sick. Huh. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. I'll try you and try. talk them my Those way through the front door. Those guards mean business. Alright, before we do that, let's talk to this uh, Templar here. Serato. Is someone there? Yep. Make us blessing to you, child. Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. No, uh, what happened to your I eyes? I appreciate your candor. Most stare. Or worse, the awkward silence. Is that the same as staring? Temper. I lost my sight in a battle with a powerful Malefica. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't be. Many of my brethren died in that battle. Oh. We'd heard what rumors that there's an enclave of Maleficarum hidden in the alienage. Um, are you in a condition to fight Maleficarum? Sadly, not anymore. But I have years of hard-won experience. Often the chase is as difficult as the resolution. So I do the maker's work in whatever way I can. Well, that's good. Have you found anything? I have found no evidence of Maleficarum in the alienage. However, there is something else. This place... It's scarred like me. When I came here, I immediately could feel an air of hopelessness, despair. Hmm. But over time, I felt the wrongness runs far deeper than that. Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. But the feeling of wrongness never wanes. And so I attempt to puzzle it out. I don't suppose I could impose upon you. Um, I'll gladly help. It took patience, but some elves opened up to me, and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping you could be my eyes. Alright. Look around the alienage for That's anything fine. out of the ordinary. There's foul work at play. I'll gladly stop it. None. I thank you for humoring me on this. If I am wrong, I will rightly feel the fool. You seem capable. I have hope that you will find what I seek. Make her watch over you, child. May you watch over us all. All right. Well, let's get back to this whole plague business. So you can slip in the back and talk to this guy. Hey, brother. No, you can't go inside just for a moment. So you might as well walk right back around to the front door. That guy has an amazing voice. You shouldn't voice. be out on the streets now, anyway. What with the plague? Aren't you afraid hmm. of getting the plague yourself? What's worse, dying of the plague or dying of hunger? I'll take my chances with the plague, thank I love you, his voice. if it means I get paid. I've been hungry. The novelty's worn off. Uh, how much did they pay you? Not enough to put up with all these questions. What do you want? Persuade, right. would you let me in for six sovereigns? Six? <sighs> sure. I never saw you. And you never saw me. Yeah, sure, whatever. All right. Over with. And now let's attack him from behind. Do 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 do. Oh, jeez. All right. They are freaking out. Oh, don't try to be merciful, just kick their asses. We win. Hooray. Let's check the note. Nah. Allow me. I could do that for you. Do it. What now? Nothing there, that's good. Alright. Uh let's check the back room for any more suspicious activity. Help us, please! We're not sick! Yeah, that's kind of suspicious. Alright, let's get you guys out Thank of here. Thank you, friend. Uh, where's Valendrian? They took him away already. Through the back alley. We don't know where exactly. Well, you better get out of here. You don't have to say that twice. 
Alright, let's confront these so-called healers. Moving on. I need to bring this up with HR. Keeping elves in cages and whatnot. Do 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 do. Hundred and ninety nine gold. All right. Excuse me, sir. I have a few complaints What's about your HR. Oh, God. God. Why are you slavering in elves? Prepare to feel my blood magic. Why is that elf attacking me? Slaver scum. And it is done. Now let's look for some suspicious activity. Any weird ghosties running around and whatnot. For Serato. A dog and poor blood. Poor blood smells of run eggs. Oh no, the doggy got impaled by a spear. That's terrible. Hey, you, what are you doing? You're not one of the bad men, are you? I just want to make grandma happy. Bad men? Well, I'm going to cut the video off here. As always, the thank you very much for watching. Tune next they one. Thanks for watching, shouting. folks.